stunned. I'm in awe. Check this out. It's pretty neat looking, huh? Last time on Subnautica Below Zero, we made some base improvements, we explored the frozen continent, Doug gets meowing at me, we have some things in our PDA to go after. Oh yeah, we made a cold suit. We found where Zeta lives. And... Lots of puppies. So many dogs. <laughs> we scanned the Shadow Leviathan. We scanned the Chelicerate. Oh, he's using his scratching post. Okay. Duncan is not into the frozen continent. He wants to stay cozy and warm. I've got like a pile of a box of crafts and stuff sitting out back there. I hope he doesn't start digging into them. Duncan! Hi, you're fussy. Can I sit you in your chair? Is that where you want to hang out? Maybe? Okay. <laughs> Here's the base. Looks pretty much the same. We got Kyanite, but we don't have Nickel to make the next depth module. Um, man, I totally lost the, uh, train of thought that I had. Do we need the cold suit to go back to, I think I have a to-do list. I was supposed to play off stream, wasn't I? I was supposed to make the fabricator module and get quartz and go get the last, oh yeah, the snow fox. Okay, well, I didn't do any of that, so let's go do it. <laughs> Whoopsies. I wish these didn't take up so much room. And there's that spy pingling, the place where we can, like, have the pingling poke through and investigate an area that I can't fit in. Is there anything extra in my storage that I don't need? We were waiting for more of those trees to grow so I could give the snow puppies some snacks. Let's see how, I'm, how my garden is doing. Not fully uh, ready for harvest. Not even close. Didn't we have some more of those? Maybe not. Making a collection of the note emotes, they're so good. <laughs> Would it be in... No? Would it be in the basement? Would I have put it in here? No? Okay. All right, let's peace out. Bye, base. Get our module. And save our game. There should be a marker for for, yeah, Phi Robotics landing pad is where we're going. Uh, but we can't go over the continent, so we're gonna have to go around it. We did make progress on Celeste. I finished 5B, and I started 6B. It's a trip. It is so challenging. <laughs> oh, but it's been really fun.
Celeste is like my blow off some steam and get frustrated for a little bit game. It hurts my hands. Can you believe how much that game hurts my hands? I had no idea. Hi, Sankari. Welcome in. How are you? Oh, and we watched the new Lower Decks on Thursday. We'll be doing that again this week. That was really fun. Thank you, Sankari, please. No help. No tips. <laughs> right, Duncan? He agrees. He is singing a song to us today. Gotta watch Lower Decks. I really liked the first episode of the new season. And then we're on episode seven now of Strange New Worlds, I think. Yeah. Going okay, normal Sunday, not doing anything day. Nice. That can be relaxing. Sing, orange boy. He is. It's his favorite thing. I don't exactly remember where we... Like, this is all super steep cliffs. He's saying, dive, dive, dive! Yeah. And hit all the fish. He's definitely telling me to do that. So that's why we're doing it. Okay, maybe it was to the left. No, this looks shallow enough to get out. There's some eyeball jellies. Duncan, hold on. Buddy. Come here and say goodbye. He's not supposed to go up there. <laughs> Poor thing. Hi, Embryonics. Welcome in. How's it going? Uh, Chipmunk, welcome in. How's it going? Alright, let's uh, go ahead and save before we go on land. But the cool thing is, I have a cold suit now. And I really wish we had more Preston fruit. This keeps us- the cold suit keeps me warm, but not invincible. I guess that's understandable. Oh, and we have to make that bridge thing, the hydraulics fluid. Yeah, I haven't done that yet. It's okay, though. That's our goal, is to scan the snow fox piece that I missed, use the pingling spy, and is that just a creep vine cluster that's the piece I'm missing? That's easy to get. Is it this way or the other way? Or do both of them end up connecting? There's another light pole right here. Okay, Jen, this is uh, going really well. I think we did a giant circle. Let's go stand on a vent. Okay, okay. I'll take that though. Signals from the deep? Question mark? It's easy to get a little turned around here.
Did I ever get this stuff up on that ledge? That's the bridge again? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. N nice circles. But I do think we opened this stuff, right? Yeah. Good job, Jen. The snow fox was in the cavern. There were a couple pieces in there. Actually, I think there's one that's just sitting out in the, in the snow in the wilderness that I walked right past. <laughs> On how to find a puppy. We have seen some puppies. I know where to get to them. I just hope that there's even more today than there were last time. Alright, this is one of our first missions. Get crushed by icicles. Assign quick slot. Assign quick slot. Have fun, little guy. Enjoy your journey. Gotta go working again tomorrow after vacations. Okay, Sangari, thanks for hanging with us. Good luck. Hope everything goes okay. We're gonna do a little spy mission. Can we collect stuff? We can. We can pick up resources. Oh, is this magnetite? Nice! We haven't found that yet. This goes in a little circle here. Here's some more. Valuable resource. Oh, we needed to get quartz too. I forget why, but that's on my list, my to-do list. Probably just to build more stuff out of glass. Enjoy Walk Nautica. Thank you. We we are on land a lot these days, huh? Okay, I brought you stuff. Uh, exit. Getting attacked by icicles. We can only pick up four things. Mm. All right, let's go again. Is this a closed loop here? Ow. Ow. This is up on a ledge. Are we supposed to make something explode? I don't want to self-destruct this guy. It's too cute. I can't look up very high. Okay, I think that's all I can do here. Um, I think we're missing this and then we can... We can leave. Wee. By puppy I meant squid? I'm good. Thanks for asking though. 
What? Robin, are you okay? Let's pack it up. And let's put something else on the quick tools. I'll just put repair tool for now. That was a nice short mission. Alright, let's see if we can find one in here. If not, we're gonna have to go get one over by the dogs. By the puppies. This is the hover pad. This is another hover pad. So not in here. And this is the arch that's the receiver, so we can't power it on yet. I don't think there is another piece in here. All right, that's fine. We got all the stuff in this area, though. As far as I can tell. All right, let's go. Come on, Robin. Oh, it's nighttime. Eh. Is this it? Okay, that was all we needed. Should we go visit the puppies? Should we try giving Dangerous one of them weather approaching? Seek one of shelter. them this. Except I have to- I think I have to swim to get to that one cave. What is this? Titanium? Yeah. Where are you at? Hi! Can I befriend you? It's not letting me drop the item. Drop it! Here! Okay, hang on. I need to take a med pack. Here! Okay, it's locked in my hand. Here. You want this? No. You're acting very strange. It's so sparkly in here. Have we seen all this already? I'm gonna get lost. Where does this come out? There's a cave down there. Oh, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> okay. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. I think this is fine.
totally normal. I'm not getting lost at all. Puppies? Okay, well, I hear a grown-up. Hi. I think I need one more piece of your fur. Oh, that's a dead end. I still don't know why I couldn't drop that Preston fruit. Maybe you can give it to the puppies, but not the adults. The adults are just bloodthirsty. Ooh, look at the moon! Is this a dead end now? Yeah, should we just jump back down there? <laughs> Oh, dang. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna make it! This is so weird. No! Well, I survived. Hi, pup. Welcome in. How's it going? <laughs> Wasting all of my med packs today. We, we accomplished what we came here for, which was to explore this little cave with our penguin. And I wonder if I should take the supplies from this one to, <laughs> thanks, <laughs> uh, find the rest of the snow fox blueprint. That's pretty much what I needed to do. We're a little cold. And it's so hard to see. Maybe there'll be puppies in here. Ooh, I can skin this. Ice stalagmite. Marbled anemone. What are you? What are these weird little markers? Pathfinder. Oh, I've never used those before. Mm. Helpful. What's this? Silver, copper, fevered pepper. All right. Anything else in here? Making lots of noise. These caves are alive. It's hailing. Oh, <sighs> I see more bones. Who's gonna greet us? Did that just go in a circle? Weird.
Yeah, I get lost in this area. We have a map, but I haven't followed it once. Here's another snow fox piece. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe don't fall down there. Or maybe do. I don't know. That's just below... That's like one of the other tunnels we've taken. Yeah, there's a ladder. As long as we're seeing new stuff, it's fine. A flare? No, I'm good. Is this a deposit of some kind? No, maybe. Weird. Is there going to be another tunnel where the pingling can go through? I forget what these frost base plants do. Oh, chemical applications. Shoot, I probably needed to pick up more of those. Uh. Um, I'll just eat this. I'm learning another application for some of these plants. Here's a light stick. Where does this come out? Buy more puppies. What's up here? Oh my gosh. What entrance is that? Is that where I parked? Maybe. That's where they like, hey, look, Jen, there's a Pathfinder tool. Don't you want to use it? No, I'm good. Hi, but are your puppies home? I don't think so. Oh, maybe? No. Oh, come on. Ooh. I can't help but feel like I'm wasting time. We should just go home and make the snow fox. And come back. Well, this is interesting. We just want to pet the dog. But I guess... I'll go over here. Let's save again. What is all this? Oh no. That's a fun tunnel. Sure, why not? At least this is one way. I think this is... Just taking me back to another cave system. What's this? This is pretty.
Very pretty. Okay. Is there anything else in there to see? Or did we just do a nice loop? I think we did a nice loop. Pick up snow. This place is massive. Can I get up there? No. Well, here's another snow fox fragment. Let's save again. Oh, maybe. There's a bunch of caves along here. Here's some trees I've never seen before. Frost Acacia. Pretty. This place is neat. How did I get here? Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. When is there not dangerous weather? Oops. Oh, I thought I was going to take fall damage for sure. Can you for once jump a little bit higher? That's okay. That's alright. I was going this way. Yeah, I hear the, the, the vent. I need the warmth. Okay, let's go over to that. I hear some birds. Let's go over to this thing. Food. Med pack. Mesh, I'll take it. Uh, my inventory's full. What can I drop? I should have left the other suit and the rebreather in, well, except we don't have storage in the sea truck, so never mind. Hi, and dude, welcome in. How are you? Puppies! We need to find more puppies. We saw a couple of full-grown doggos already, but we need more puppies in our lives. Oh, look at all this. Oh, I should scan this. I can drop... Titanium... in favor of Magnetite, since we don't have any of that until now. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. What is this? Stop. The Preston plant never wants me to put it down. It, it, I pick it up and it stays in my hand. What, what else can I assign to a quick slot? The flashlight. There we go. <laughs> Hello, it's me. Did the person who worked here also live in storage? Huh. All right, let's scan some stuff. Parvin's bed. Hmm. 
Parvin's Favorite Tunes, Try Hard Ninja Deep Dive, Parvin's Poster, Oh, look at this cool Reaper poster! That's my fave. Parvin's journal. Another Parvin's journal. More fur. What should I trade out? Uh, probably one of these, huh? Because I needed one more for the last thing that I construct. Okay, this is the security cameras. Okay, fun. What a tiny, tiny little room. This is how you live? Is this a heat lamp? It's cool. We'll save. We found some new stuff. I'm starting to doubt that I'll be able to get home safely, but we're gonna just keep on walking. Forklift. Was this a cave in? What oh, I should have. I sent so many things here. Dead among them. No. I feel like I should have brought an ion cube. What if the other arch is here? Whoa, what is that? Welcome to Earth. TT, thank you for the host. Are those teeth frozen in there? This is the frozen Leviathan cave. We found it. Ooh, PDA. Did I miss one back here? I don't know. Let's keep going. <gasps> Stunned. I'm in awe. Good music. Yeah. What is this place? PDA, a necklace, and another scanner. I should listen to some of these while we're in here. I should drop more of this other crap that I don't need right now. Let's look this at this. Sam's necklace. She never took it off. Somebody took it from her. Is this Sam's scanner? It appears that your sister's death was accompanied by significant destruction. Doesn't make no. any sense. She would never destroy a base. Well, baselessly. Are your feelings confused? I am detecting more than one. I don't know. I, I feel... disillusioned? Worried? I thought I knew Sam better than I really did. When we were kids... I was always the one breaking and rebuilding things. <laughs> she wouldn't even go into a bake sale without a plan. For classic oatmeal cookies, no less. So serious. She wouldn't have anything to do with my molecularly transformed caramel pretzel lumps. Your mind goes easily <laughs> to food. To distract you from your feelings. Okay, I think that's enough mind reading for now. This wasn't negligence. That's not Sam. This was something else. Something happened. PDA. This is so cool. Okay, let me go see if we get another bit of dialogue if I pick up the scanner. And then let's read some of these journals. We have a lot to read. Or should we go look at this stuff first? There's too much to do. I know the lore. Extreme amounts of lore today. Sam lore. I want to find more of those little caves that the penglings can go into.
More stuff that I can't pick up. Oh, pingling. I think there's one up here then. I think there's about to be. Lubricant. A lift. Some copper wire. Some sciency stuff. A little pingling. Ooh, I will take that advanced wiring kit. Yes, please. Those are a pain to make. Oh, I'm stuck. I blocked my own path. Ooh. Okay, I'm excited. Let's read first. Let's read. Let's read the, the lore. The lore of the ice stalagmite. No, we want... Sam. Security recording. Hello? Someone there? Oh, no. Samantha? Is that you? Oh, yeah. Told you I was investigating. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm on my way out. You can't keep doing this. We have protocols. Parvin, stand back. Don't come any closer. Why? What are you up to? Parvin, I mean it. Stop. I... What happened to them? Scary! Here's Parvin's bio. Security specialist. Here's an Altera thing. Oh, it's a thing from Parvin to his family. My dearest Adeline at Rosita. Yeah, not dearest. Who says that anymore? Adeline, Rosita. Everything on the mission is going very well. Do you see now? Your doubts were unfounded. I am loved here, and... Oh, no. Rosita will say, Papa, why do you have to brag all the time? Papa, it's embarrassing. Huh? I want to apologize. Okay, no, that's taking things too far. I know we didn't leave things on the best note, but I want you to know I love you and I miss you. I don't know why I say the things I say sometimes. They just come out. I was going to send you a message saying how great everything is here and how everyone loves me. Uh -huh. I've had a promotion to a very important security dossier. I'm treated like a hero. But really, this is a cold, wet planet. Mm -hmm. The scientists are full of themselves. There's no <laughs> action to speak of. The only thing I look forward to is weekly games of Alien Intruder, but more than that, of coming home to you. I am sorry for all the times Poor Parvin. I did not appreciate you, of our family, or the good life we had. And I... Oh, am I kidding? I can't send this. What's the use? That's so sad. We had another log earlier that talked about how there, the, there was like tension between security and the scientists. I could see why. Hi, Magus. Welcome in. Yeah, some of these guys had a really bad time on this planet. This is investigation report excavation site. My investigation of the fire excavation site, including the cave entrance and surrounding area, revealed minor cosmetic damage to Altera survey equipment and significant structural damage to the natural cave entrance and supports. Resulting debris prevents cave access without heavy excavation equipment. Only foot access is currently possible. We are reporting two casualties, Pavan Ivanov and Samantha Ayu. Both bodies were sister. found beneath the rubble at the cave entrance. Ivanov had just entered the cave. Footprints were still visible by the entrance. Deeper into the cave, Ayu appeared to have sustained a fall. Poor souls. What was Ayu doing? Nothing in her file suggests a history of vandalism or carelessness. And yet, I can only conclude that the cause of the collapse was employee negligence. We will need to investigate a possible connection to the explosive damage reported at Omega Lab. If there is a connection, who is responsible? And that was Marguerite, we think, who exploded Omega Lab. 
Okay, this one is called Not Cheating. I think this is that Alien Invader if game you're again. If not cheating, then you won't mind if I record this conversation. Is that right? I have nothing to hide. Then what were you whispering about with Vin? Nothing. Th that guy is so lawful <laughs> good, it's annoying. Wait, so you were trying to cheat. But no cheating occurred, so what does it matter? It matters to team morale. If you can cheat in the game, how can they trust you out there? I'm sorry, did you feel left out? Perhaps you would like to make a deal. Ugh, Parvin, no. You're shameless. You really never give up, do you? I don't. That's true. <laughs> Have a manual put that in my next eval. Very persistent. Hmm, this is sus. This is all sus. Look at all these logs. This is security report. Creature dead, cave still boring. Patrol log, excavation site, day 33, morning. I thought I saw something moving on the screen, but it was just that I sneezed. Wiped <laughs> it off. Fred's not convinced the Leviathan is really dead, but I've never even seen it blink. Nevertheless, I am now undertaking the mandatory foot patrol. Inside the cave, confirming a whole lot of nothing. Mm -hmm. Creatures still dead, cave mm -hmm. still boring. I miss the mining site. At least you could talk to people. Oh, wait now, what's this? A rock! I found an interesting <laughs> rock. That makes three this week. The others will be happy to have a rock friend. collector. <laughs> Concluding patrol. Perimeter secured. Nothing to report. And log. And then we've got signals from the deep, and I think that's the last audio log for now. Yeah. Duncan is having a day. He wants to hang out, but I don't think he's going to come in and sleep. I think he's going to try to chew the plants. This one is between Lillian and Zeta. Zeta. I have kind of a funny question for you. Have you picked up any kind of unusual interference during any of your robotics work? You mean like Parvin looking over my shoulder and telling me I'm assembling my circuits wrong because it's not how his dad did it back in the day? <laughs> no. Like electrical interference in the audio or video. Any kind of flickering or clicking. Huh, can't say that I have. Why? Oh, so it doesn't extend as far as the bay. What doesn't? When Fred was bringing me for my eval, we detected something, almost like an SOS. Mm -hmm. And Delta, how mm -hmm. retro. What was causing it? I think architects are trying to communicate. It was Alan. You always think that. Look, it may be my job to always think that, but I'm very good at my job. Not that HR seems to care. I won't breathe a word of this to Emmanuel. Thanks. You're a good friend. Okay, that was juicy. I'm going to let Duncan in and see what he does. Yeah, he is he is Magus, but these are not even they're like fake vines decorative in the background, so I have to make make sure he doesn't chew on plastic plants cuz that's bad. Um but hopefully he just wants attention and then he'll settle down and sleep. Or, you know, just cuddle. Hi, buddy. Hi. Come on. You already ate lunch. Oh, oh my goodness. How do you feel about Subnautica? Good? He wants, I mean, I do feel bad because I just got home from my trip and then we hung out for a bit and then I started streaming. So he wants attention. He's like, you left for two days. You have to attention, pay attention to only me. But I am also worried about him eating the plants. Don't come sit up on your chair. Come on. Take a nice little nap on your chair. You love your chair. He's like, no, it's too far away from you. Will you be happy up there? No. What about your tent? You want to hang out in your tent? 
I'm thinking about it. This cat. Ooh. Okay, sorry for the interruption, but you know, Duncan's pretty cute. It's okay. Two days is like forever. I know, it's so long. He was like, I thought you were never coming back. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna settle or are you gonna cause a ruckus? Okay, he flopped. Welcome to Earth. Jim, hi. Thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Welcome in. We're just giving Duncan some love. He's he's being an attention uh, bottomless pit, as he should. Hi, buddy. Okay, you stay right there. You hang out. <laughs> ruckus, yeah. Much ruckus. Let's, um... Do we need that? I feel like we need this quartz. I feel like we need all these things. We don't need two scanners, but I think you can turn a scanner into something else, maybe? It has more than one purpose. Alright, let's just go up. Let's go up and then after this we'll come back down and see if we can use the penguin. I should probably save too. I'm nervous. I feel like this Leviathan is gonna wake up and growl at me. Let's play some games. Llama, thank you for gifting us up to Jim. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back to the human race. Enjoy your Earth Badger emotes, your ad free viewing. We're so glad to have you. Thank you, Llama. Oh, this is so creepy. Thanks for the hype. You can just walk up to its face? Stand by. Okay, I'll stand right here. Did I save? The alert makes me hype for September. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Insert sample? Injectable container? What is going on up here? Frozen Leviathan skull. Creepy, 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 creepy. And there's like Kara just chilling, just hanging out. You alive? I'm gonna get infected. Weird. Teeth! You can scan the teeth! Oh my god, you can see my reflection! That scared me, I thought it was gonna be like one of the other scientists frozen in the ice. Let's read about, uh... Oh my gosh, we have so many of these. It should be under... Fauna, yeah. Frozen creature. Lots of room for a brain, mostly just bone and fat. Sharp teeth for tearing. 
Environmental conditions and subtle mutations suggest that this variant of Kara bacterium's rate of transmission is somewhat lower than that of the widespread outbreak previously reported on 4546b. The bacteria's capacity to survive for a long period of time off the leviathan's corpse suggests highly efficient sap saprophytic phytic properties. Scans indicate the pustules are merely the visible component of a dense bacterial network feeding off the dead cells of the leviathan. Ugh. Despite the risk for the research is recommended. Ugh. Okay, bye. See you later. Are we all just bones and fat? Yeah, I guess. I guess mostly. And water. That noise is way too loud. Okay, we're gonna send a little friend into this tunnel. Can I go in this tunnel? Oh, there's a prawn suit up here? Oh, look! Hydrochloric acid. Frozen Leviathan. Claws. And somebody's prawn suit. Just chillin'. Weird. Do you think if we self-destruct the pingling, it'll break this ice? I don't know. I don't really want to. Do you think you can drill through this ice with the with the prawn suit? Should I bring a prawn suit back here? I feel like that makes more sense that it's a visual clue to use a different prawn suit in this area, but I don't know. I don't have room in my storage for that hydrochloric acid. I don't think I need it at the moment. So then this says, we found this thing buried in the glacier, gave someone a hell of a fright. Turns out it was walking around a thousand years ago when it fell through the ice. It was infected with the Kara bacterium, the aggressive disease which wiped out the architects and almost life on the planet. It is unclear whether the mutated Kara pustules pre present are responsible for the ultimate demise of the creature. Since the enzyme cure was released on 4546b, the bacterium has been all but eliminated. Rare specimens like these provide our only live source. Research on the bacterium has been transferred to the Secure Omega Laboratory, while further research on the creature will be conducted at the excavation site. Claws evolved to retain traction on the ice. Seems... Fine. Why? I thought that the reason... I thought that since this spy pingling was here, that was a clue of a place where we could have it go crawl around and investigate. Cause didn't we, wasn't there a log a long time ago that Sam was talking about using the spy pinglings here? I thought there was, maybe not. Do you think one can do, go down there? I don't think so. I don't know that I want to get any closer. Okay, now what? Go talk to Marguerite. She'll know what to do.
place is wild. Let's go back up here real quick. So there's a sample analyzer that I can't take with me. But I don't have a sample of anything to put in there. I don't think. What's all this? Is there a sample here? Anybody got a sample? Can I take a sample of its skin? That seems like a bad idea. It seems like an easy way to get infected. What if we do it? What if you slice open the pustule? <laughs> Gross. Duncan, what you doing? Alright, I think we're done here. He's trying to get into the closet. Okay, so how do I get home? <laughs> Duncan, come here. What are you doing? Maybe he'll go in his tent. That was open before. Who closed it? <gasps> Nobody. This cat. This cat closed it. Why are you moving around? Cut that out. And of course it's dark out. Jim, thank you for thanking the mods. I appreciate it. They do too. I'm sure. Oh, he settled. Good, Duncan found his comfy spot. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Alright, I guess I'll hang out in here for a second. Until this passes, and then we'll see if we can go any farther. I should still have the headlamp on, right? Yeah. It's battery powered. I don't know. I guess I don't have to leave it on all the time and that'll make the battery last longer, huh? Some titanium. Is this water? No. I hear a puppy. Flare. Water purifying tablets. 
med kit. Oh, inventory full. I think I have one of these left, yeah. Food. Power cell. I can take this, right? New technology acquired. Oh, look it! Oh, it's up there on top of the rock! Snow Fox jump module? Okay. Um, we're gonna drop this copper and take the mesh instead. I am a little cold. I should probably go get some more fevered peppers. Or stand on a vent. Okay. Is this a cave? Is this a pingling cave? No, I can fit in here. Are the puppies? There's fevered peppers, but my inventory is very full. Oh, did it hear us? Is it gonna chase us inside here? I don't know. Dangerous weather approaching. Oh, come on. Seek shelter. Seek hot air vent. This place is fascinating. Are those supposed to be footprints? Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Here's a cave. Is this how I first found this area? Here's your mama. Oh, there's a bunch of fur in here. That's good. Hello, puppies. Although my inventory is full, so it doesn't really matter. I want to try to give you a fruit. Hi. <laughs> I got distracted. Squishies! <laughs> oh my god. This game is like, why do you keep doing this? This is a bad idea, fundamentally. Okay, let's go in with our Preston fruit. And maybe perhaps use a med pack. Here, puppies. Here you go. <gasps> Feed. It's glitching through its nose. I fed your puppy. Do you like me now? Look, it's taking a little nap. Mama wouldn't eat the fruit earlier when I tried to give her fruit. She didn't like it. Let's try to go pick up one more piece of fur. If I can, without getting devoured. Oh, I got stuck on the bones on the ground. Oh, 
I don't know that I can survive two of those attacks. Oh. Oh my god. This wasn't supposed to be a big deal. I was just supposed to go in and pet a puppy. Oh, we're dead. Will you follow me out here? I don't know that you will. Yikes. Honestly, I don't know if I need more fur. Maybe I'll leave it. Is that my smartest move? Could be. Could be life preserving. Is this a separate cave or the same one? Uh, same one. Okay, let's go out that way. Hi, Daxon. Welcome in. How are you? Well, there's some pinglings down here. And some water. We are having quite the adventure today. And I'm a little lost. <laughs> There's, like, the Pathfinder is so important in this area. There's Human beings, pockets and ladders and, out, are weird. and stuff everywhere. Thank you for the nine months. I appreciate it. Thank you, Daxon. Yay. Dangerous. <laughs> Enjoy approaching. your new Earth badge, your nine-month Earth badge, your emotes, your ad previewing. We're so glad to have you. Happy Sunday. Seek shelter. Seek shelter. No. Maybe not. I don't know how long we can survive this with the cold suit. Not forever. It's not looking good. Caves? Anybody got a cave? Did I do another circle? Probably. Yeah, this is this is the worst. It's down here. Is that another Pathfinder tool thingy? That little, you see that little flashlight right there? What's that shining up at? I feel like something in this room is making noise. Weird. I'm not getting a scanner bubble for any of that. Oh, doggy. All right, how do I, let's go back to this landing pad beacon if I can. And then let's try to get back to the sea truck, I guess. Only, if nothing else, because my inventory is full. I hear it. Is this it up here? I think this is just it up here. Okay. running through this the sleet and hail golf ball size hail I 
It says Cold Daniel is over here. He's over this way. Let's get back and then let's look at the map to see where all we just went. Oh, that was a lot. Stressful. Hi, Zephyr. Welcome in. We... Okay. We looked at the Leviathan. Frost Acacia. Um... Cool. Fast growing root system. Anemone. Neat. Equipment. Pathfinder. Geological data. It was just a stalagmite. Huh. Anemone. They have those in this game. Didn't we get another log? Maybe we just got new tech. Made any new fishy friends? We made a frozen fishy friend. And lots of doggy friends. But not a lot of new fishies lately. I think we're gonna go back and craft a snow fox and oh lubricant we did find some lubricant but my inventory was full so I didn't pick it up that's okay um and the hydraulic fluid and then we'll come back I haven't made a drill arm so I don't know if it's worth it to bring the prawn suit back with a drill arm equipped maybe Oh, and I wanted to look at the map. That's right. But I can't zoom in. So that makes this a lot less helpful. All right, let's save again and go home. Delta station is this way. Fish jam for the ride home. What are you? Oh, I've scanned you before. What's down here? It's awful dark. More eyeball jellies. I'm sure it's safe. We should stop on the way back to get more creep vine stuff. I have extra storage in the prawn suit. I don't think I brought the prawn suit, did I? I think I brought the docking module, but did I bring the thing docked to it? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. Access storage, please. Open storage. Yay! Well, now we don't... The excuse for going back isn't our storage is full, but... I still need to craft some more things. Grab four of these clusters. And save. 
It's so dark. It's so very dark. Getting home is hard because the whole island that Delta Station is on gets in the way. But Delta Station is, oh yeah, it's only 383 meters. It's hard to see anything. What's this? Oh, are you a new friend? No, you're a crypto, crypto bro. Hello, I know you. You're like family. Here's all these lights. Is this taking me to the mining site? It's taking me home from the mining site. The human race has an enduring desire <laughs> for knowledge and for new opportunities to improve itself. Thank you for the bits, Jim. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I hate managing inventory. Yeah. There's a lot better solutions in this game than there are in the base game, but it's still kind of a pain to go back and forth. Um, I'm sure there's something I could be doing to be more efficient, but... I'm just doing my best. And the, it's not even that I have a full inventory right now, it's that I have to go home to where my fabricator is because I didn't make a fabricator on the go like I thought I was going to. Eventually I will. I think that'll be extremely useful. Okay. We're almost home. Very good. We made it! Welcome aboard, Captain. What a trip. We've got some new posters to hang up. What's this one? Oh, they're in storage. Let's go get them out of storage. Clearly, posters are the most important thing that I need to take with me. And this necklace and this fur. Luxury. Let's put this here. Love it. And let's put this one right next to it. Oh, there's not enough room. Okay, let's put it in the hallway. It won't let me put it in the hallway. Oh, that one's really cool. Wait, I kind of want to put the creature ones together. Why can't I fit another? I could overlap them. Maybe it'll let me? Uh, I don't think so. No, that's no good. Oh, my headlamp is turning on every time I do that. That's pretty silly. Put the reaper over here. No, I want the reaper right in here. My fave. Okay. 
We've got some important business to attend to. First, we're going to make this. I think we only need one of those for the snow fox. Although, I think I have to make the snow fox on the vehicle floaty thing. Where is this blueprint? Titanium and magnetite. Bio stuff. Oh, I did have some lubricant in here. Okay. The creep vine cluster is for the hydraulic fluid. We need one of those for that. We need four gel packs, though. Interesting. Let's go get our two magnetite. And whatever else I can fit. Kyanite goes in here. And we'll put the extra magnetite in here as well. Okay. This is where we're gonna make the snow fox. We have to make it on the hover platform thing. Here it is. Wiring kit and titanium. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Do I have an extra wiring kit? No, but I have silver. And I need two more titanium. I wonder if we have to use the building, the habitat builder, to make this on land somewhere? How does this work? Recharges and something. The snow fox. Yeah, okay, let's go on land. Hi, penguins. Oh, oh, there was a spot that worked for one split second. Right there. And now I'm the proud owner of a snow fox. I feel like I need to make this at that other island. I don't think I'm going to use it here. This is neat. I got a little bike. Vroom vroom. Okay, how does my- oh god, I think I hit a penguin. How does my turning radius work here? I don't think I can go over water. This thing sucks. How 
How do you turn? Alright, well, that was fun. I'm gonna deconstruct everything and bring it with us to that other area. Can you name the snow fox? You can. Fun. Um, what's the fox's name in Fox and the Hound? I can barely see this. I wonder if I could put this inside the moon pool? That doesn't make any sense, right? Ooh. Fantastic Mr. Fox. Todd is the fox. There's not enough characters for Fantastic Mr. Fox. But I do love that movie. We'll just call it Todd for now. I think we can think of something better. This is broken. Can you give me vibrant colors, please? Why is that base color not showing up like I... Why is it green? Where did I make a green color? Ugh. Horrible. Alright, let's go back to purple for now. I wanted it to be orange like a fox. Oh, I'm freezing to death. Alright, um, this is going very well, clearly. Clearly. Let's go back. What else do I need to make? Hydraulic something. Gel packs. We have... No gel packs. Good job, Jen. Way to go. We have one that's currently being digested by the bio-generator. Look at all these Preston plants! Um, do we think I put any in this room? Nope. There's gotta be some nearby, right? Oh, we could name it McCloud. I like that. Fox McCloud. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hello. Welcome aboard, Captain. Can I enter? We're looking for gel packs. We need four of them. I don't remember if they're just hanging out around here or if I need to go like one to, to one to one of the caves. I don't think they're just hanging out around here. Let's go. Oops, sorry, 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 sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Crash fish. Let's go to this above crystal caves marker and see if we can get some down there. I think there's some down here. There might even be some here. No, I should pick up some of this quartz since I had to drop quartz, but I don't need it for a recipe right now. That's just for me, so I have lots of quartz to make more glass stuff. Hi, Matt. Welcome in. Hello, hello.
Oh, yeah, there's a bunch down here. Good, 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 good. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put the rebreather back on. Okay, there's one. There was a scannable thing. I thought there was a scannable thing. Oh, this. What is this? Docking module. Okay. Alright, solid start. <laughs> I sure hope we see a leviathan down here. There's two, three... Two... We'll pick this up. Three... Oh, four. Nice. That's all we needed. Don't hit the wall! I hit the wall. killed a fish. <laughs> Let's just go home. Uh, my weekend's been good. It was really nice. Got to take a little trip and um, see my partner and then come back and play some more Subnautica. I feel refreshed. Rip fish! I've killed so many fish in this thing. <laughs> I should rename the sea truck from Cold Daniel to just Fish Murderer. Hello? Hello? I'm just trying to park. It's gonna be okay. We can play later. Fabricators over here. Hydraulic fluids, go. Also, hydrate. Can I, what can I do with this necklace? Admire it? I don't have like a bedside table. Should I make a bedside table? Oh, can I put it on here? Yeah. That was Sam's. Did I never finish crafting this? I never finished making this? Okay, well, we can fix that. This base is so buggy. Um... What else do we want to make? The fur was for something. The helmet, I think. Cold suit helmet. I think the rest of the fiber mesh is in this storage. You don't need to attack me right now. Did I ever finish this task? Yeah, it's a lot of that. <laughs> okay, this was on my to-do list. Good, excellent. 
cold suit. Uh, I'm always down to make a first aid kit. I should probably make a few if we're going out again. Let's see if I can get four things before my storage fills up. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, oh, inventory's full. Those take up so much space, the clothing items. Silver goes in here. I don't know what these are for, but I'm keeping them. Frost base. Oh, and I only have one battery. I should go... Oh, never mind. I have a ton. Okay, easy enough. Um, and I kept this extra scanner. But I don't think I'm going to end up needing it. Maybe I can take it apart and use its pieces. No, absolutely not. Leave me in my docking module alone. All of our extra clothes are gonna go in there. Right now we're just hauling the prawn suit around so that we can use it as storage. It's my best strategy so far. make two more of these. Nope. You. And then I think we might take a quick stream break before we go out again. The goal is to fix the bridge. And I think I'm going to deconstruct the snow fox so I can reconstruct it on the Arctic island with the, where the robotics lab is because I think we're going to use it over there hopefully. Hopefully I can get the hang of it. It was hard to use. Do I have space to bring all of those materials with me? Surely I do. Snow Fox is in the way. Deconstruct Snow Fox. I can't deconstruct it? What if I move it off of the pad? Oh, you can pack it up. Okay, that's good. This I need to deconstruct. We'll save. And we're looking good. Let's drop off extra titanium, extra wiring kit. Oh, no, 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 no. Jen, that's what you just deconstructed. Good job. Good job. You saved it. <laughs> Let's unpin these recipes. We're a mess. Um, there's that one. Snow Fox is. I don't know. I can't find anything. Here it is. Okay. 
We are going to take a quick break. I'm going to grab a snack and we'll be back for more exploring. Thanks for being here, everybody. I appreciate it. We were going back to the frozen continent. Such a good sleeper. He really is. <laughs> we have a new vehicle that we're going to try out. And... Okay, safe word, if there was anything else I s said I was going to bring with me, you can remind me, but I don't know that I remember any other items that needed to make the journey with us. Oh, I do remember, Ion Cube. Just in case we find the other side of the arch. Hi! I think that's the only thing I would bring with me. Why did I put this all the way in the corner? Let's put it right next to my bed. It'll fit under the speaker, right? Yeah. All right, and while we're out, we're going to use the headlamp instead of the rebreather. I'll put the re... No, I feel like... Should I have the rebreather on my person just in case we find deep water? These are tough decisions. No, actually, we're, go we're not going to have either. We'll probably have the cold helmet. And the headlamp only takes one spot, so. Yeah, that's fine. What was that? <laughs> Look at this guy. You're stuck. You're beating up my ship. Cut it out. Go play somewhere else. They're so amusing, though. I love them. There's a reason why I haven't killed them off, because I adore them. They're the most playful creature, but they are constantly in the way. I think I like them especially because I was more scared of them in the beginning, and I've gotten, you know, kind of used to them in a good way. Hello? How come I wasn't able to dock with this thing? No, 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 no. Everything is wrong. Craig, please. Get out of here. Oh, I think it did a little bit of a T-pose to reset. Can you please dock with my module here? Okay, we got it. We got it. We're good. Let's go. Stressful. Already at 94% health because of getting out of the parking lot. <laughs> I feel like I have the worst base location, too, for going to the robotic center. I have to go around this island. Where is the best base do you think north of the delta island somewhere between the north and the west because once you're once you go to omega i don't think you really need to go back that often but i could be wrong We could make some kind of a visual landmark here of where to turn. Several trips.
And once we get here, I always take forever finding the parking spot, too. But we're gonna go repair that bridge. We get out here. Nope, that's a cliff. We hollow chamber in iceberg interior detected. Oh, why did I never get that before? In this one, which one? Okay, the eyeball is a little bit close for comfort. What's that? Laser cut? Weird. Does everything look normal for now? Both these games have their issues. I'm shocked you've only had issues with this game. I, d I didn't have any issues with crashing in the first game. Yeah. It was glitchy. And we had, you know, the prawn suit glitch. Um, what else? Oh, whoa. This is weird. What is happening? I hear architect stuff whoa what should I be scanning anything in here or what's this diamond yeah I'll take it love that glittery noise do I not have my headlamp on? No, I have the cold helmet thing. It's okay. Special loot, yeah. <gasps> More shinies. Jingle, jingle, jingle. All right. Oh, there's Pathfinder stuff in here, cool. That's what these are, right? No, it's a creature egg. Even cooler. Oh, that's one of those glow worms. Okay, that was exciting and fun. And that's the thing I just laser cut. Hello? Who's making that noise? I didn't enjoy that noise. One of the things that we had with the first game that I thought was a glitch but didn't end up actually being a glitch was I didn't know how to jump. So I would get stuck on things and like my feet when I was trying to walk around on land and I would think oh I have to restart because my feet got stuck but I think I just needed to jump and we would have been able to get out of it who's making that noise I don't see anyone around here that should be that loud Please and calm. Is this hollow too? I'm afraid to save. I think it it doesn't like when I do that. 
sometimes it doesn't like... Oh, I can see the cursor on screen, I just realized, too. We've got a cursor, a cursor and a, a reticle. A lot of clips of people not knowing how to jump in this game. Yeah, okay, I'm not the only one. Or is this just a side exit for the one that I was in? It looks like another exit for the one I was in. Huh. Weird. Who is making that noise? All right, we're moving. Let's go. Here's our landing place that we always park at. Makes me wonder how much of this ice is also hollow. Hollow Ice. The next game in uh, <laughs> the Hollow Knight series. Oh, I was afraid it glitched again. Hi, Nacho. Welcome in. How are you? Fellow submariner. I'm going to put some of this stuff in storage. We might not have room for it all right now. Uh, Actually, hang on. I gotta go a little deeper. There we go. No, I need this. I keep forgetting this is part of the recipe I need. And we can put all this diamond in there and the creature egg. I think that's fine. Cool. Um, you could just hang out down here. Let's go. Learning how to uh, command Soviet subs in your last game. Is it harder, easier than what you're used to? What's the trick to it? We have to worry a lot less about the cold now that we have this special helmet, so that's good. Oh, except I'm totally taking the wrong path because we're wandering around in the dark. Let's just use the old-fashioned flashlight. Their weapons are less precise than the American ones. Gotcha. Okay. Insert hydraulic fluid. Extend bridge. Wee! Epic Subnautica music. And a bird. Come back. Oh, I can retract it behind me. So no one can follow me, but also I can't make a quick escape if I do that. What is this? A flare? I'm sensing interesting patterns to the northeast. It would be worth investigating. But be careful. Of what? I recall ravenous creatures tunneling beneath the ice. I hear noises. Bye. Leaving. Dangerous weather approaching. 
Seek shelter. <laughs> uh, gonna lurk. Okay, sounds good, Nacho. Enjoy. Some subs are more awesome than American ones. I bet it's fun to play with lots of different ones and learn how they all work. What their specialties are. I am far more afraid of land creatures than sea creatures in this game. Oh, you told me to go to the northeast, not the northwest, huh? And I went the other way. I'm scared. Hi, Electrip. Welcome in. How's it going? All right, I'll go. I'll go where it told me to go. Something is going to eat me, though. I'm not looking back. It's snowing so hard. Oh. Okay. Well, that's it. That's the end. Nope, nothing to do up here, I guess. Let's go home. This is all titanium. Dang, that's so much. Something is gonna grab us from under the ice. That's what Alan said. I didn't bring any peppers. Why did I come in the middle of a snowstorm? Okay, can we get some light, please? Thank you. I don't want to go that way, actually. Ooh, what's that glowy thing over there? Run across! Oh, and there's a cave over there. <gasps> Glowy stuff. If I go in there, can I get out? Is it warm down here? Is this, is this, who made this tunnel? Who burrows in here? Okay, bye. I'm armed with a flashlight. I am a pacifist, so I will not hurt you, but I will be terrified the whole time. Is this just all gold? Copper. Robin, please. All right, so there's like little places to pop in and out of there, but I'm having a lot of trouble climbing these. What the heck? Why did, it why did it let me go down there if I can't get back up? There we go. Parkour. Oh, I hear rumbling. Or feel rumbling, hear noises. I wanna see what it is though, where's my scanner?
Do we think they sleep at night like me? So it was a good move to be out at nighttime? Where's northeast? Further that way? Oh, I hate it. Oh, there's a ladder over there? Let's try to get to it. Oh, God. The amount of resources I'm just running past because I don't know what I'm doing. I'll take a med kit for sure. Yeah! I wonder what stuff we're gonna run into that I need this med kit for, huh? Where are we going? Oh, I'm getting cold. I'm gonna save again. Let's do it. We'll save. Oh! <laughs> what is it? It's gonna eat me! Oh my god, it's right there. Am I far enough to the side? Do you have a set path that you take? Can I scan you? That's too much. You need to calm down, please. That's unacceptable. What's that up there? It's like purple sparks. Nope. Not a viable strategy. Oh, cool. Hi, Wangadude. Welcome in. When a game is randomly giving med kits, it doesn't mean you're in danger, right? No, I think it's fine. It's just being generous. Okay, what's this? Totally normal looking thing. Architect cabling. Kinda wanna read about it immediately. These highly den high density architect cabling structures have been discovered running between various sites of known architect activity on 4546B. The cable housing contains what are effectively a form of multi-mode fiber, fiber optic communication networks physically shielded by a microscopic layer of pressed diamond dust. Impressive. I like it. Let's grab some more peppers. I think we're good on peppers. We've got four. All right, Alan, do you have anything to say about that? No? Onward, should I save again? I guess. Oh, I was gonna bring the snow fox. What if I make a snow fox in this cave? What if I had done the right thing and made one near where I got out of my sub? Oh, I'm stuck. This is fine. Everything's fine. Just a totally normal day. What am I looking for? I think we're going back towards this. Let's make the... Let's make the thing. This is the area over the bridge, yep. We just fixed the bridge. 
today. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. And I want to try making the hover thing. Maybe we'll make it down here. Do you think you can... Do you think it's possible to drive it over the bridge? The other glitchy thing about this game is it constantly switches between left trigger and right trigger. Like, it'll say LT on the screen, and I'm actually pressing RT to use whatever object it's, it's talking about. No, this isn't... We can't build it here. Alright, we'll build it down here. No, you... Oh, oh, what about there? You're okay with this? I do not understand, but I don't care. This is where we're gonna make it. And I'm going to... Uh drop this on this it's facing the wrong way okay great love that is this thing still broken what were we gonna change it to mcleod do we like todd or mcleod better what if i name it todd mcleod perfect Why is it green? Is that the interior that's doing that? Yeah. I want it to be like red, orange, and white. Or I guess I could make the interior white. No? You don't- you're not into that? Why is it being so buggy to get the color I want? I'm freezing out here. Trying to customize my ride. I hate it. Okay, done. Mm. It's so ugly! <laughs> Cloud McTodd, yeah. It really wants me to make it cool colors and not warm colors. It's turning everything blue. I like, I think, I guess the red is okay. I can't even see it from here. Can you, uh... What if we make it red and black then? I can't get it to be red and white. It's either red, blue, or black, or some weird green color. I hate it. Okay, whatever. These are the important things in this game. Can I learn to pilot it? Questionable. Yep. Yep, here we go. That was great. Good job, Jen. What is wrong with this thing? Does everybody have this much trouble flying this stupid hovercraft?
Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Do we go back up here again? Can we do sick jumps? Oh, we do have a jumper module, but I never made it. Uh, where is it? Machines, vehicle bay, vehicle upgrades. Wouldn't it be here? Oh, here it is. Oh, it only takes titanium and a wiring kit. That's it. Oh my God. How high do you think it makes you jump? Okay, I can't turn around here, so we're just gonna have to back up. I'm mad. But now that we're hovering, that monster won't know we're here. I shouldn't call it a monster creature. All of these beautiful creatures of our planet. 4546B. What's over here? Hi, Siloom. Welcome in. This was where that cable was or something else? It's down there. Yeah, that's where the cable was. Oh, oh god, no, that's not how we drive. Oh no, oh god. Alright, this is fine. Am I- I ugh, this is the worst. Is there like an instruction manual here? can outmaneuver most threats. Yeah, right. Oh, there's another thing. <laughs> I thought it wouldn't know I was here because we're hovering. How does it detect me? It hears me? Am I too loud? How do I get up here? What are you? Can I scan you? It's just more cables? Oh, well, that was boring. <sighs> I ended up finishing the game having never made the snow fox. Really? It is a pain in the butt. I do not approve. Oh, look. Oh, look at that. What's that thing? Oh, neat. Oh, there's a beacon down here. Okay. What is this? Oh, it's on top of a vent. That's kind of funny. Um, you okay? Can I interact with this in some way? Pick up snow. What is this? You're basically a flying lawnmower. It will be loud. Yeah. Oh. oh, upgrades. No. No, I just want to board it, I guess. I 
I can't see anything and it's dark and there's monsters. And they're gonna attack me. And hopefully I live. Oh, I can't jump. Ooh, what's this? A cave. Okay, you're fine. Um, I'm gonna repair you. No, no, that's not the button I pressed. Oh, this game is cursed. Okay, now pack up. Pack up. Pack up. I have to use a mouse. It's not letting me do that either. Alright, I guess we're leaving it behind. Oh, whoa, there's a ton of ion cubes in here. Oh, there's a ton a ton. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, I'm a mess. Hi, Chai, welcome in. The no fox, yeah. I don't approve of the snow fox controls but that's just me that's just me i do get a little bit of outer wilds vibes from the ice yeah and this loops around i tried to pack the thing up and it wouldn't let me Ugh. can i scan this no? Alan doesn't have anything to say about it. I can't see anything. Da -da 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 -da. I'm falling. I don't know where I am. We we got some air. I think this is where the exit was. Let's go this way. <gasps> A puppy! Another puppy! Hello. Don't attack me. We're friends. We have a common enemy in this... Underground predator. Hey, don't attack my bike! What is happening? Stop it! Oh, what's this? Do you think I can explode this? Hey. You're only gonna get hurt. We're supposed to have a friendship. What is this? I'm trying to explore! Oh, I glitched. Alright, let's just run around for a bit. Duncan reminds me of Worf's head. Duncan's all curled up. He's having the time of his life. Oh my god, they're destroying this bike. Can I pack this thing up? No, I didn't want to board it. I saw the animation. Stop. Please. Oh, thank god. The thing is more hassle than it's worth. Okay, we love these puppies. We don't want to kill them. I have a safe word question. Can I 
blow up those rocks over there with the penguin? Or is that just a lithium ore vein? I think it's just a lithium ore vein, but it almost looks like it's explodable rocks. Don't tell me what to do, Wangadoo. <laughs> if I'm gonna die, let me die. <laughs> If you start telling me, do this, go here, heal, I'm going to do the opposite. It's just the nature of my stubbornness. You don't know, Jim, if that's explodey uh, rocks that I can... Rocks that I can break open. Yo, you need to chill. Oh, actually, you're really cool looking. Whoa, what? You just jumped in the air? That looks like graffiti. Don't think it's explodey. Okay. Okay. I know that the the penguin has a self-destruct option and I was thinking it was going to work like a bomb to break us through some doors at some point. But I haven't really seen anything like that yet. You hate those giant creatures? I want to scan one. So far, I'm going to jinx it. So far, they haven't hurt me. But they are um, a little bit frightening. A little bit abrupt, I will say. Oh, what's this? Might be possible to use it like that. Can't know if you don't try. True. I think I'm going to want to craft a second one before I go exploding the only one I have. <clears throat> but it's some science I would like to look into. Is this the same one we were already at? <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, okay, Maggie, sounds good. We'll see you when you get back. Alan, what do you have to say about this? Okay, I want to explore before I use the, the warp, but this is pretty nifty. Science equals exploding things. Yeah, yeah, that's how that works. Where does this go? Whoa. Whoa. All right, let's go use this. I wonder where this goes. Science, science rules. rules. Thank you, Trav. I appreciate it. Speaking of science, let's see where this goes! Don't worry, Robin. It's fine. Riley survived, so you will too. So bright. I'm assuming this is the one in the other part of the robotic center. One of your friends went to Bill Nye's wedding? Bill Nye got married? Hi streams, welcome in. That's so cool. Stream elements, why does it say you redeem science for 200 people points, elements okay? What is elements okay? Is that a stream element specific emote? So if I need to come back here, I can. This is a little bit safer way back than uh, the way we got there. 
but I there's more to explore. There's more to explore here. <laughs> Try I missed your quote, hang on. I saw that it was Outer Wilds with some redacted. <laughs> uh Science compels us to explode things, yeah. <laughs> Proving things are wrong until something until something works. Yep, 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 yep. I love it. For as much as I love science, I don't know what kind of scientist I would be if I if I ever specialized. You know, technically speaking, like if I got into an actual field of study, I'm just- I'm just a science enthusiast. <laughs> I don't have any, uh, in the field experience. Okay, where is this gonna take me? This looks like a giant elevator. Alan, do you have anything to say about that? No? Alan is awfully quiet. Oh, CD. Xenobiology, well of course, yeah. Robotics, yeah. Always fascinated by human conditions, so either biology or neurosciences would be my pick. I think, practically speaking, since I have my technical background that would be anything close to science would be, like, nail care. So doing something with either chemistry of nail products or skin products or something like that would be super cool. But biology, studying creatures... Really, really cool. I, um, I would never survive the academia of it, but <laughs> one can dream. One can, uh, glamorize it and have, have little daydreams about it. Where's this gonna take us? I'm sure it's totally safe. Military science, naval warfare. There you go. Submariner. I'd like to be out in the field for a number of years before Doko crew catches up with me and I look completely and utterly unhinged. Wait, I should probably focus on swimming. But I want to read all the scientists' messages in chat. Where is this taking us? Taking me back to my ship. Oh. Laser cut! Rude. I explained to the audience the secret of science stuff I helped discover all whilst looking smoldering in those khaki explorer clothes. To chemistry in high school, yeah. That's the last time I did any chemistry. Tell you it involves a lot of blood, sweat, tears, and more coffee than you can shake a coffee factory. Yep. Chai knows. The life of the scientist. Oh, is this where I put that beacon that one time? But I don't remember. I thought we had the laser cutter when I went to that spot. Maybe not. At one point, we went to an area, and I said, a uh, battering ram experiment. I don't even know. I don't even know. Maybe it's not turned on? 
Yeah, no, this is it. Battering ram test subject. So I don't need to do a battering ram. You must only be able to see it from the other side. Oh yeah, I swam right by it. Okay, cool. That's my beacon. So this is a way to get to one of the arches a lot faster. But Alan didn't have anything to say about that area? There must be more there. Here, we're going back up for air. Um, we're saving again. And then we're going back to it. I guess. I don't know what else we're supposed to find. This is a really cool tunnel, though. I feel like we should make a base right outside of this tunnel. Alan was very quiet considering all the alien tech you interacted with. So much alien tech. I wonder what Alan's thinking. I'm glad we put that beacon there, and I'm glad that I remember to turn it back on. Because otherwise I would have thought it was a different spot. Gonna head out and get back to study? Okay, good luck. Oh, Duncan's getting cozy. <laughs> Thanks for stopping in, Chai. It's always so good to see you. Mm -hmm. Same. Oh, I guess we're going back up the elevator. And Alan has nothing to say about this elevator. Or any of this chamber. Somebody want to tell me what's going on here? Oh, here's a ladder. Is that how we first came in, though? Probably. I don't see another entrance. I just forgot that this was... No, I didn't... I don't know. Let's keep exploring. Are one of those worms gonna get us? Yeah. It can go inside of those tunnels? Is that where they live? Oh yeah, I remember climbing up this ladder. Let's save on this ledge and then... That looks green over there. Is this some more tech I can scan? No, that's that Agents wiring again. Seek shelter. anger this thing so I can scan it. Come here. Let's hang out. Oh. I don't even think I can scan it. What a waste. Oh, there we go. Oh, it like catapulted me into the air. There we go. What did it say to the northeast? That was where Alan wanted us to go originally. I have to say I got a little bit turned around since then. Well, 
then we shouldn't go back in this cave. Let's go, let's go back out. Hi, Mokomon. Welcome in. Thank you for redeeming human kindness. Sending human kindness to me, from me, <laughs> to me, to you. <laughs> Stumbling over my words. To all of chat. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for being you. Thank you for being a part of the community. You are loved. You are appreciated. You are worthy. Sending you all the best Sunday vibes going into another week. And um, it's good to know you. Thanks, Moko. How are you doing? We're just uh, trying to survive this frozen wasteland here. Oh, are there ladders along this whole section? Is this a different ladder or the same one? I think it's the same one. Okay. Uh, what's down here? Some ore? Nice, okay. No. You can't get me. Actually, you can, but I'm in denial. Gonna meal prep for the week, nice. Enjoy what you're making. Have we been in this cave yet? I don't think so. Ellen, how does this make you feel? Architect artifact. Greenhouse? Neat. Okay. What are these? Is that a dresser's hop? I feel like the dynamic colors and lines reminds me of uniform of the Star Trek villain race would wear in an episode. It is a top. Not a dress this time. I feel like I've been wearing a lot of dresses on stream lately. Gotta mix it up. Um, We are up above this and I don't really want to jump down. So where do we go next? Hi number, welcome in. How are you? Thank you, Wang, dude. I appreciate it. I like that it gives off Star Trek vibes. Heck yeah. <laughs> I picked well. I saw your new puppy number. That's so exciting.
Can I ask if it was a beagle, if it was part of that giant beagle rescue that just happened? My mom told me about it. Her coworker rescues dogs from all over the country, the world. And I guess there were like 4,000, maybe four, not 4,000, but it was part of the beagle rescue. Awesome. I just happened to hear about it from my mother because of her coworker. And I was like, I wonder if that's numbers, puppy. It was thousands, right? It was around 4,000. Okay, I'm not making that number up. So basically it was a um, puppy mill that was breeding beagles to then sell to places to do, te like, testing. Let's play some games! And they thankfully hadn't been tested on yet, the ones that were rescued, but they had, like, all lived their lives in crates, which is so sad. Trap, thank you for gifting a sub to number. I appreciate it. Number, welcome back to the human race. Enjoy Earth Badger emotes, your ad free viewing. We're so glad to have you. Thank you, Trav. 80. 80 is a lot of subs. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, and I'm so glad that uh, he's getting acclimated. Bringing a new puppy into the family can be tough. Ego's 11 months and lived his life in, his cr in a crate. It's so sad. They don't deserve that. There is almost certainly vital information pertaining to my body construction nearby. Okay, this part is tense. Maggie, welcome back! Check this out. It's pretty neat looking, huh? There's vital information nearby. Let's save. He's assimilated really well. Apparently there's a Facebook support group. Oh, that's cute. For anybody that's bringing a newly rescued puppy, especially from this um, group, into their homes, you have like a resource to bond. Um, I'm glad we're talking about this. I feel like this is appropriate for this the stream. We've been meeting these snow dogs. And we haven't seen a bunch of them today, but we saw some earlier. <laughs> What's this? Lithium? I don't want to go in that pile of rocks, though. This area is vast. Pets are the best, yeah. Look at this one. Duncan's passed out. Oh, there's a snow puppy. Speaking of puppies! Hello. Okay, wait. Stay over there because I need to eat a pepper. What's this right here? This, like, vent underground. Do I want to fall in this hole or nah? I feel like I hear growling something or other. Snow fox needs more action. The snow fox is um in storage at the moment. Is this rescue in the States only? I have a coworker who wants to get a bagel, but he's in India. I'm not sure. I don't have the details. Like looks like a drumstick, it really does. He's so fast asleep. That's a good qu question. Hi, Violacious. Welcome in. I wonder if it has info on that Facebook group. Whoa. Wow. Okay, I don't know that I wanted to go through there. Oh, it's like a little bit of a shortcut through that section then. Interesting. Maybe we should use the snow fox. Yeah, the weekend was really good. Thanks. You as well. Um... I'm trying to stay calm. We have so many med packs, thankfully. 
but I feel like this section is extremely stressful. And I keep getting stuck on rocks and things. Oh, oh, I feel it. Something is rumbling. Wow! Okay, do we do another save? Yeah, yeah, sure. Do we drive the snow fox? Do I like this thing? No? Am I gonna give it another chance? I guess. I don't know why. Hi, end table, welcome in. What's that over there? Is that how we came in this area? Whoa, what's this? Whoa, what's this? Cable. Okay, we're going the right way if there's cable. We're flying over the tundra. I'm sure we totally won't get attacked. Ooh, look. More cable. Angry growl noises. More cable. A rumbling in the ground underneath us. Snow Fox went flying. This thing is at 58%. I know, right? I thought this was an ocean game. Where'd the ocean go? Um. This is just, uh. This is, this is a, this is a snowy part. Is that a sleeping one? Is that a dead one? I think it's dead. I think this is the only way we get to scan it. Ice worm. Dang. Ice worm bones. You can't actually scan the bones. Can't help but feel like we're missing a bunch of stuff, but we're gonna press onward. Look for more cables. This reminds me of like a racing game. Like wave race, but on snow. I should probably repair this thing, huh? Here, let's take a quick pause. Oh, 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 we're gonna get attacked. Okay, repair, 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 repair! Okay, it's fine. Can I actually pack this up really quick? Are you gonna let me? Ah! Pack up. Because I want to kind of go down here. And see what's happening. Running around with a remote in hand. This looks, this looks promising. Your character can freeze, but I have on a cold protective gear, like fur-lined suit and fur-lined helmet and gloves. Is that only the top portion of it? I don't know. A single Sub-Zero joke in this entire part of the game, I will personally be let down. Hi, Tunes, welcome in. How's it going? I think this is a big deal. Hi, friend at arms, welcome in. Is this where we are going to build Alan's body? Large emerald. What else can I scan in here? Oh, what's this? 
architect component that's rather morbid ah uh, that is a rough way to go yes i would not enjoy being crushed while mining iron cube components the coal preserved the body well but this isn't a big sample will it be enough our tissues are pluripotent derived from the dna of various species capable of changing form as necessary ah like stem cells so what prevents you oh. from i don't know ending up with hooves where your eyelashes should go that does not happen <laughs> at least not since the fourth iteration <laughs> All right, so we came all this way to scan a dead body, which is important, but we still don't have a place to assemble the tissue or the skeleton, but we have the pieces for them. Ugh. Okay, I can't get that. I don't have the drill arm with me. We just have the recipe for skeleton and tissue, yeah. Fourth iteration, oops, all hooves. <laughs> Vehicle gave me major Jack and Dexter vibes and Halo. Mmm, I like that. Definitely Halo vibes from parts of this game. Yeah, tissue, we have the ingredients in storage for the skeleton. And I have root pustules somewhere. I think I have like one piece of the material needed for synthetic fibers in storage. Gel sacs are easy to find. We just don't have the organs blueprint yet. Creepy. Morbid. What's up with the bones and organs and tissues? He wants us to build him a body. Are we done here? Is this it? Do we go back? Where's my, um, whatchamacallit? This dang thing. No, not upgrades. I want to drive it. Okay, good job, Jen. Great job. This is fine. Which Halos have I played? I think only Halo 3. <laughs> A long time ago. I don't know what I'm doing over here. This is a disaster. Oh, I forgot we have the boost function too. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the ground. I glitched into the ground. You can't get me under here. You probably can. Let's go pack this thing up. It's an ice worm. Can you, can I pack this up, please? Why is it so hard to pack it up? There we go. We're just walking. Oh, hi, puppy. Can I tame you? And you can, like, give me a ride back? You seem like you would be better at traversing this terrain than the snow foxes. Okay, we're airborne. Okay. Everything is fine. I can't see, but it's okay. Let's go this way. Uh, you. Oh, well, now I can see. Um, I've never played Jack and Dexter or Ratchet and Clank. 
so I wouldn't know that reference for the vehicles. But I think I've seen other people play Ratchet and Clank. Does this go anywhere cool? <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing. Should have brought a Pathfinder. Oh, hi. Can I climb this? Is there a ladder? No? You just drop down? I'm sure that's probably safe. Well, I'm going for it. The fall damage is not that bad. I do need a pepper, though. What's that over there? Is that a rock or some kind of entrance? Leave me alone! Yeah, yeah, I know. You're, like, dangerous and stuff. this one. We've been here before. I think I'm going correctly backwards towards the base and the landing pad and stuff. The bridge, more importantly. But this whole journey has to be in a dang snowstorm. Let's hang out in here for a second, maybe. <sighs> it's a giant worm. Always a giant worm. Have a good one, Dax, and have a good sleep. We'll see you around. Take care. Oh, you too, Indy. Fell asleep for the last 20 minutes. No worries. Have a good sleep. Thanks for being here. We found some good stuff today. Duncan is dreaming. Speaking of sleep. His little foot's twitching. I don't think the snowstorm is going to stop. I think it knows that I just finished that side quest. It's not a side quest, it's part of the main game. Oh, I remember this thing. Why didn't this activate, though? Oh, is this one of those spy places? Oh. Okay, let's do a spy penguin thing. Um. You? And you. And I can stand on this vent and stay warm. Okay. Ready for mission. Ion cube. I don't think I can drill these. Oh no, that's not a drillable thing. That's just... Looks giant because I'm a tiny penguin. Is that it? It's just a nice resource cave? Okay. That's all I can carry, just four. Well, that was fun. Hello! 
<laughs> See you later. That time we got a nice little bit of of dialogue. All right, you're coming with me. Are we done here? Should I ask that? Should I say for to ask if we are good to go home? Or should I stay here a bit longer? I think what we I think we got what we needed. I think when we get back, Alan will tell us a new place to go investigate. Is this the one we just looked at? Yeah. Has anyone ever truly done in Subnautica? Well, with the story, the main story, I think so. With exploring and building a base and whatever else, no, you're never truly done. This area is really cool. What's that over there? Is this a drop off? There's a ladder. I think this is the way back, though. I always see this game in snippets. I feel like so much uh, lore is much like the real ocean itself, where the entire human race has explored maybe fourth of it. Isn't the the ocean the ocean IRL? We've explored less of it than we've explored of space or something. I don't know what the comparison is, but. We haven't seen much. We might have gotten turned around here. Well. Maybe I'll just keep going towards this beacon. Oh right, I remember these tunnels. We use those to get around sometimes. Hopefully this is taking us back to the bridge. Seen enough of it for someone who hasn't explored it. I can say that, yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> was able to join... About to join the Navy to be a submariner when I was 19. Didn't get to. Have we seen this yet? What's over here? Oh, I think we picked up the helpful supplies here. This is all copper. And titanium that I can't get without a drill. PDA. What's this? This looks like hand sanitizer dispenser. <laughs> What's this? Water. Space soap! <laughs> How do I build one of these for my base? Alright, so let's keep it moving.
We were on the Snow Fox for quite some time, so if I'm on foot now, hopefully I'll see more details that I missed when I was zooming by. Oh, full on blizzard though. Yikes! Um. This cave is making noises. Is this the bridge? We made it back to the bridge! Wow. I'm proud of myself. Somehow we survived all that. Oh, hello? Is that a snow doggo? I don't know. We can save. This area was the one time in below zero I actually died of starvation because I got so far away from everything and lost, didn't pack enough food. Do the, I don't think the snow peppers, fevered peppers, whatever they're called, really help with hunger, right? Just with cold? That's the only thing I can think that I've seen that's even edible here. But even that, they're not in every area. Noises. Is this just a different path to get to the same place? I don't think we've come up here yet. This is a higher elevation. Right? <laughs> I see a PDA. Oh, I see. They give a tiny bit of nutrition, but not enough to fill you back up. Yeah, that's not their purpose. <gasps> Inventory full. I have so much stuff. Let's change out the battery on my scanner. And drop it. Yeah, look how many batteries, because we found a ton in the crates. Also, I'm ditching this flare. <laughs> Is there a purpose for flares? Oh, bye. I mean, I know there's a purpose in real life, but in this game, I have yet to find a time when I was like, man, I really wish I had a flare right now. Maybe it melts stuff. Maybe I need to use it and I didn't realize. Data box. A thumper. New blueprint synthesized. the heck is a thumper? Oh, that's the battery I dropped. Okay. I guess the flares would be kind of like a pathfinder for shorter periods of time until they go out. This one's still going. Where did it fall down? I think it glitched through the world. Okay. Um, 
I need to eat one of these. a little bit cold. And now we're back at the bridge. So does that do a big circle up there or what? Hi Chozo, welcome in. Life in the Arctic is good. Um, we made some new friends today. We made friends with an ice worm. And we found a tissue sample of an architect. Um... <laughs> it's a good time. Okay, this was up here on the left. And then I think this does a circle back around. So was there anything, any reason for me to go this way? Yeah, a very exciting day for us on 4546B. I wonder if this connects to the other area we were in. Getting a little cold. Where are you? Oh, uh, I don't know. Whatever. Oh, and we jumped down from here earlier. Okay, so this did connect to that other zone we were in. And this heads back. This takes us back. And I don't know what's this way. Probably still more of the original area. Like, this is probably how we got there in the first place. And then we kind of circled back. Yeah, yeah. Let's go home. Semi, welcome in. How are your travels? Hello, hello. This looks suspicious. But I don't think you can fit a pingling through there. Excuse you? Oh, he's so sleepy, yeah. This is a, uh, well, it depends what time zone you're in. If, if you're in my time zone, then this is a very post-dinner nap friendly stream space. <laughs> But if you're always sleepy, then you're just always sleepy. Regardless of time, regardless of meals. Um, I got really turned around again. Hopefully we'll come out by the bridge at some point. Yeah, cool. Not sure it was a great decision to bike back from the train station. Did you get hit with any weather or just tired? I'm definitely tired. From the travel. Hey and hi and look out for the huge worms! There are worms. There are lots of worms. I'm also pretty turned around. Okay, here's the bridge. How come we can hear those creatures Dangerous all the way over by the bridge? Seek shelter. Trying to. Burbs. Alright, where's my dumb hover pad? Get rid of this. I want the resources.
One big hill back to your place, yeah. Very tiring. I had space in my inventory for all that, right? There's not a shadow of it still left here? I don't think so. Is this a PDA that I missed? No. There's a surprising amount of above water exploration, especially in this one. I was really surprised when the base game had any at all, but this one is a major component. Steam bath. Okay. I think we have some logs to read. And maybe just hang out at the base and wrap up. I don't know. I don't even know if we need to go all the way back home. How's our sea truck doing? Looking good. Pretty good. We have a message from Alan. You have found two of the three components required for the construction of my corporeal form. Uh -huh. This is as close as I have come to autonomy in a long time. As you can see in the components you have scanned thus far, the forms we require combine biological and mechanical parts. Mm -hmm. The tissues you have scanned were developed from the DNA of 27 separate alien species. There are benefits and drawbacks to our form of genetic diversity. We receive disease resistance from the species that inform our makeup, but we also risk becoming infection vectors. That is why finding a cure was imperative. Why does it say day 92? I haven't been paying attention to that. Day 89? Day 85? Day 82 day... The, weren't these earlier today? I've only been playing for 3 hours 48 minutes. Let's check out what logs we found. We have one Altera log. Thumper batteries from Omar on behalf of Mining Crew Delta to Quartermaster Joe. I'm speaking on behalf of the entire Mining Crew. Day in and day out, we're risking our lives in this cursed territory. When we signed up for this mission, we were not told about ice worms. We lost a solid fifth of the crew before Altera took any action. Six of our friends were emergency shuttled off the planet. Marcus was supposed to retire after this job and said he was skewered by an ice worm. Have you ever seen someone get skewered by an ice worm? Those thumpers that the company developed are just a stopgap solution. They do a great job of distracting the ice worms. When they have power, how are we supposed to use them when batteries burn out so quickly? Would it be possible to send us additional replacement batteries? A little more juice would go a long way. Respectfully, Omar and the Delta crew. The finalized thumpers are pretty useful. The original versions were pretty bad, but these give us almost double the time to explore some of the mineral-rich nodes. The vibrations of the ice worms sometimes knock loose some pretty valuable stuff if you take the time to search for it. I wonder how all these minerals even got trapped in the ice. Yeah, this place is mining rich. But none of the architect things require gold or diamonds, I don't think. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Let's keep reading. Tissue. A leather-like tissue sample of alien origin. DNA markers indicate a complex mixture synthesized from over 20 different sources. The tissue sample incorporates advanced biocomposites, resulting in unique mechanical properties. Compression. Extremely high compressive strength protects against external forces and may indicate adaptation to extreme environments. Impacts. High resistance to damage from high energy impacts. Elasticity. Low modules of elasticity allow tissue to conform and stretch in response to body locomotion. That fish just <laughs> catapulted itself into my windshield. I'm not moving. 
Greenhouse, this alien structure found commonly shielded from natural sunlight, appears to be carefully controlled containment and cultivation environment for natural flora. In other words, a greenhouse. The main chamber appears to be capable of precise temperature and humidity control, allowing plant life to be grown carefully outside its natural habitat. We weren't able to go inside of that thing. Maybe I should have tried. Large emerald. Pure emerald is typically colorless. These large crystals contain trace amounts of chromium, leading to the development of the distinctive green color seen here. Mining activity near these crystals suggests that they are valued for their applications in architect technology. Ooh. And ice worm. An extremely large and dangerous leviathan, roughly 95 meters long, with a thick plated exoskeleton that burrows through dense ice shelves with minimal resistance. The ice worm is covered in a thick exoskeleton with backward facing spikes. The exoskeleton protects the soft upper body of the ice worm as it moves through the ice. The spikes create treads that rapidly shuttle melted water back as it burrows, similar to tire treads. The anterior of the ice worm is covered in a thicker skin that doesn't require plating. Superheated horn. The horn of the ice worm is the thickest part of the creature. The inner chambers of the horn are filled with deposits of raw alkali metals that react violently with water, creating an exothermic chemical reaction. As the ice worm burrows, small microscopic grooves continuously channel water into these chambers, allowing it to burrow with ease. That's really cool. Uh, the ice worm is an ambush predator. It relies on sound traveling through the ice to alert it to potential prey. It then lunges through the ice and uses its horn and mandibles to attack. The ice worm can be temporarily distracted through the use of sonic devices. Eh, we're just walking by it. It's fine. Aggressive and lethal. Avoid. No, we, we were hanging out with it. Scans of the ice worm bones show that they have a surprising degree of flexion in them. This likely allows the bones to compress inward when the ice worm is burrowing. A total rigidity in the bone structure might result in deformation of the skeletal structure over time. There's evidence of muscle insertions that would manipulate the compression of decompression of the ice worm's long rib cage. The bones appear relatively intact. It seems other large land predators in the region tend to leave the worm carcass alone after death. Very interesting. I think that's it. Okay. And we got a thumper blueprint. Oh wait, what are these? Oh yeah, this doesn't require... The skeleton took diamonds. But this one doesn't require anything particularly rare. Like graboids? Rely on sound. Microwave beeps to ambush prey pizza rolls. <laughs> Same. This sounds really good. I would like a pizza roll. Or just a pizza. Where's this thumper blueprint? Aha. Battery titanium magnetite. Thumps things. That's it. That's the description. We picked up so many med packs. Eject docked vehicle? No. What do you think happens when we, um, oh, I'm stuck. When we go home, do you think we get another prompt from Alan? Let's try. Let's go home. See if anything happens, and then we'll wrap up. Perfect description. Thumps things. <laughs> There's not much else to say, you're right. Do we need anything else from the kelp forest right now? I don't think so. Sea monkey! I haven't seen a sea monkey in ages! We love the sea monkeys. What's down there? I don't know. Not important right now. More med packs means more time with the puppers. Yeah, and crypto bros. Yeah, exactly. You can never have too many. I think the next thing we're gonna end up doing 
actually, to get totally distracted mid journey. But hang on. Maps. Have we been to Outpost Zero? We've been hanging out over at Phi Robotics. We've been to some stuff north, but I don't think we've been to Outpost Zero yet. So we might try that next time. I kind of want to just take a day to... do an ocean tour find stuff we haven't found yet like that what's in there we have a whole prawn suit that we haven't used oh I guess it just comes out over here mining site this is the mining site yeah always be cuddling the puppers mm-hmm we do love the puppies. We saw it, we saw them quite a bit today. And we fed one of the fruits to a puppy, which was a lifelong dream of mine. Okay, am I at the point where I can make it back to my base yet? No, still no. Almost. to go around this bit of land. Oh, sorry. Sorry, fishy. Home sweet home with the Crypto Bros. Welcome aboard, Captain. Anything? Alan, you have anything to say to us? No? What else is in storage here? Oh, lots of stuff in storage. Let's put a couple of these um, in here. Wait, no, that's not what I wanted. Maybe. I don't know what I'm doing. This alien, this is where all of our creature eggs are, right? Yeah. And this is gold and silver. This one's getting really full. That's gold, silver, diamonds, and we have more diamonds that we left uh, in the car. <laughs> this wiring kit is from the hover pad thing that I'm never gonna use again. I'm gonna put some of these med packs in here. We only ever really need to go out with like two or three, I think. I think that's safe. I'll leave those in there for now. Yeah, that's full now. 
What do we need to make out of diamonds? We have so much diamonds. Where do they all come from? Uh, hi, VJ. Welcome in. How's it going? We do have a lot of kyanite. It's only from like one stream, though. I've been trying not to di get egg duplicates, but <laughs> failing. We have three duplicates. And... I just, I want to grab the clothes so I don't forget. I think the ones we should be wearing most of the time are the reinforced dive suit, not necessarily the cold gear. Preston's light. Pick up Preston's light. We need to plant more. Uh, I can't get it. There we go. Plant more Preston's. Always more Preston's. Come on, I know there's another one. Oh, 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 no. Okay, whatever. We got new music. All right, let's 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 listen to another track, and then this is going to get muted if I put it on YouTube. So then we'll do the YouTube outro, and then we'll be done. <laughs> Thank you for watching my Subnautica Below Zero journey. I stream Subnautica on my Twitch channel every Sunday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you to my Kofi supporters. Oracle the Great, Semi-Cortex, Toon Wolf, 8-Bit Trav, House of Paul, Prospect Terror, and Meggie. Thank you to our top charity donors, Ta and Shamin. I'll catch you in the next video. Later, humans.